by Anna Mendelssohn, who I've been thinking a lot about recently, um, and a short response to it that, yeah, I wrote after reading it. Um, and yeah, I just think basically it's from a pamphlet that's out of print, um, and yeah, it's it's just I think everyone should hear it. It's called Tree by the Cam. They swirl sweeping before gnarled maps, stretching before they dip the willow light, blurring beneath veins to bear the tragic unknown of river identity. Wise stare attempted to climb from the root, find clangor in nests and hammocks. Beyond the reach of the phantom moon and the man whose arms are longer than his legs holds out, head back, head upright, head held, doubloons on his upper arms, his puppy lost, and my horses are houses held in silhouettes. He is one of a race gone, a doubloon who had many doubloons. He is one of the doubloons. On his right knee rests his son. Forever he tried to escape the tree, the tree of the unfounded estuary, the wood that was meant to be the sea, the eternal reversal that politics play, the confusion over means and ends, suspended for his ship rather than his lunacy, Suspended for his love rather than his buoyancy, and almost like a bird he swoops, his sleeves dripping April light. I'm going to read my short response to the poem now. Marzipan resistance under a cryless screen trails the quandary. How could you? I wish them coloured in, the specks to join before they scatter to a shell, the sea, <clears throat> dream you, dream me, I want my puppy back. <laughs> <laughs>